In this episode, we talk about the allegations that have been levied against Book My Show regarding the Coldplay concert tickets. We also talk about a helicopter crash in Pune that killed three people. But first, we talk about a series of leopard attacks happening in Udaipur. Hi, I am Niharika Nanda and you are listening to 3 Things, the Indian Express news show. Some villages of Udaipur have lately been tormented by leopard attacks. All of the attacks have occurred within a 5 km radius of the Gogunda range. News of the attacks have sparked a climate of panic in all the adjoining villages as well. The leopards have targeted 7 people till now and have caused the villagers to move out of their houses in groups even when they go out to graze their cattle. To learn more about these attacks, why they are happening and how have the authorities responded to them, we have Indian Express's Parul Kulshreshth joining us. Parul, tell us about the leopard attack cases in Udaipur. Since how long have they been happening and is it a common problem? So there have been attacks on cattle and all and uh, there were cases where the human and animal face off had happened in those that area of Udaipur because the leopard population is very high. Only the Udaipur range has more than 200 leopards and there have been cases of leopard attacking a human but then it was later on caught. But uh, this was the first time that there are continuous killing for the last 12 days of on human beings. So that is one of the unique and you know strange thing that had happened in this case. So the first killing happened on the 19th September. Two people died on 19th September. And the third killing happened on 20th then it happened on 25th, 26th, 28th, 30 and today morning at 8 a.m. So this has been a continuous process and it has been happening for a while which has uh, like you know baffled the entire state administration. Right. And can you tell us about the casualties that these attacks have caused? seven people have died the place that it is happening is actually the bheel the tribal area of rajasthan and surrounded by you know all this agriculture land and uh, forest areas and the houses that are situated in these villages are like you know one house on a hill then there is a gap of 100 meters then there is another house so like you know in a slight distance of each other so it the bheel tribe area the uh, tribes usually reside in these villages and uh, the attack had happened uh, mostly between 3 to 5 am in the morning sometimes it has happened in the afternoon as well so there was this one girl uh, who was just 5 years old and she was attacked when her mother was bathing her in the river side and the leopard came from the back side and it just dragged the child away when she realized it she started searching for her and uh, her body was found on another hill around 300 meters away from the spot where she was taken back and then there was this man who was a shepherd and there was another girl who was also a shepherd they were grazing goat and one was grazing cows in the forest area which is very normal thing in those communities and the leopard attacked them at that time so these are the like profile of the victims but in the last two days what leopard had done like the last last two casualties are inside the home so there was a priest was sleeping in the temple courtyard and the leopard came and dragged the priest away at around 3 am and there was this woman who was cleaning her courtyard and the leopard came inside the courtyard of the house and just dragged the woman away and later she was found dead and parul what would you say are the reasons behind these attacks why are these leopards venturing into the villages See the experts have assumed and it's a big probability is that there is a decline of herbivore animal population in that area there is a decline in the uh, number of deer and goats and uh, even rabbits and all which is a proper prey for the leopards so that is the reason they have started to venture in the human population and they started you know attacking the goats and calves and cattle of humans but recently this has happened and maybe this might be the case that the leopard had attack human and he has become addicted to the human blood so this killing spree has started but the biggest reason is that the decline of the herbivore population and also the rise of the human population So a lot of bheels have also started you know going near the forest area and clearing the land and you know building their houses which they usually used to do but now it has become like you know they are encroaching the territory of the leopard so it doesn't have a lot of space to move around so there is the human and animal conflict is rising in those areas Sunil Mehta he is the president of World Wilderness Congress he had told me that uh, the common factor amongst the man eater leopard or tiger is that they are very elusive and they are very very clever because whenever they attack a human being they know that the human population is going to come after them 
attack in the sense they whenever they attack as a prey whenever they make the human being as their prey they always know it very well that the human population will come after them so that is why they keep moving ahead and they keep changing their location so that is a case sunil mehta told me that it will not be very easy to catch this leopard it will take some time so i think that is what is happening and even in this case the leopard is moving ahead whenever they are putting a cage the next killing is happening 2 or 3 kilometers away from the last place so that is what is happening this leopard is very clever right and how have the attacks impacted the lives of the villagers what did they have to say regarding this it has impacted a lot actually they have become very fearful people have stopped going alone in the fields grazing cattle and you know goats alone in the jungles has been a very normal thing for the bhil tribe which they have been doing for like for years and decades but now they have stopped grazing cattle they are uh, like you know moving out of their house in groups of 5 to 10 people a lot of people used to go to the nearby cities to work as daily wages and would return back at late at night but they have stopped going for their jobs so the fear amongst the villagers is very high but at the end their life is dependent on the forest they have to graze their cattle they have to cut the grass they have to take care of their fields their crop that is on the verge of harvesting so they have to go to the field so that is actually made people very fearful but their life is dependent on the forest produce and the jungles so at the end they will be in conflict with the animal right and parul have the authorities or the government taken any action regarding this situation so the authorities have roped in indian army as well forest officials have called their special teams from all over the state from kumbalgarh and dantambore forest officials have reached the udaipur range police officials are also working army drones were called to you know trace the leopard forest officials have also caught four leopards in this uh, meanwhile they have really, you know put six seven cages in different locations they are going and creating awareness in the villages not to go inside the jungles but even they know like i mentioned that the life of villagers is dependent on the forest but they are doing their best and they have caught four leopards but the main culprit the leopard which is actually doing this is still not been caught and every time they you know catch a leopard it is always like you know they always pray that for at least one week another incident doesn't happen but that is not the case and um, the killing is continuing so they feel that they might have caught the wrong leopard or maybe there are multiple leopards who have been attacking so they are not sure about it but they have put down cages now and uh, because the killing have like crossed six numbers and now its seventh person has been killed so they have ordered to shoot the leopard now Right and what did the forest department officials had to say regarding this the thing is uh, officials are also very worried about it like in rajasthan it has not been the case that such kind of incident had happened like i had been to that uh, villages and i talked to the villages and all people are like you know 70 years old they were telling me that this has never happened in their life they have never witnessed such kind of incident i mean leopards used to attack their cattle and all but they never attacked human beings and it has become a very difficult task for forest officials to handle this case and even though they are catching the leopard uh, four leopards have already been caught but they were not able to catch the main culprit so that is there and uh, forest officials are doing their best but i don't know how long will it take to catch the leopard they have also called up a uh, dog squads and um, the shooters from the army and they also have their own shooters so for that just to you know control the situation and also you know talking to the villages and all but villages are really angry they have also blocked the highways and all because they have lost seven people of there so that is there but uh, officials are still in a lot of pressure and dilemma Next we talk about the book my show row. Last month Coldplay the renowned British rock band announced the India leg of their Music of the Spheres tour. The band is scheduled to perform in Mumbai in January 2025. It was announced that the tickets would be available on 22nd September 2024 on Book My Show which is an online ticketing platform. Among the throngs of fans who logged in for the tickets was Amit Vyas a lawyer and founder partner of Mumbai law firm Vertices Partners. and like many others he also didn't get the tickets for the concert when he failed to get the tickets vyas did a little digging around and found out that many of his friends had the same experience vyas then filed a complaint against book my show live nation and all the other promoters of the event to understand why vyas filed a complaint and why so many fans could not get the tickets we have indian express's mohammad thawar joining us Mohammad can you tell us what led lawyer Amit Vyas to file a complaint against Book My Show and all the other promoters of the Coldplay concert So on September 22nd when the Coldplay tickets were to go live Amit Vyas like so many others had 
logged in uh, on the Book My Show app, and uh, it was supposed to start at twelve noon, and he had joined in around the same time. But uh, surprisingly, what he found, and which a lot of people also found, is that they were logged out. Initially, it was said that you know the system crashed and things like that. And by the time he logged in, he realized that the queue. I mean, there was too many people ahead of him in the queue. And uh, what also happened is now, Mr. Amit Vyas, he has been somebody who has been to a lot of concerts, and every time there are concerts in the city, he would go there. So he's got a large group of around. Hundred people who kind of visit these concerts regularly. So while he did not getting ticket, he still felt maybe it was bad luck. But when he spoke to the others who regularly kind of went to these concerts, he realized that none of them have got the ticket, which kind of made him a bit suspicious. Then he found that okay, these tickets were being sold on uh, secondary market platforms like Viagogo and things like that, and these were sold within minutes of the tickets going live. So while on one hand people who regularly got tickets could not get it, on the other hand there were these secondary markets where these tickets were sold within minutes of it going live. So that is when he felt that there was something amiss, and he, you know, kind of decided to pursue the matter legally. And what allegations did he levy against the platform? Yeah, so basically what he has said is that uh, you know he has asked them one the reason why. so many people who regularly kind of got these tickets were locked out secondly he has asked questions like how did these uh, you know secondary market apps how did they get the tickets within minutes and they were you know already reselling these tickets so how did that happen so there were allegations that maybe bots were used by some platforms to get tickets before others could get it so his question was if that is the case then you know what measures had book my show taken to ensure that such a thing would not happen knowing fully well that there was going to be a high demand for this simple steps like you know like even on the supreme court website or so many other places where there are these catch pa codes that you have to put in to prove that you are a human being and not a bot so you know it was these questions and mohammed how did the authorities respond to his complaint was any action taken regarding this Yeah so even when it came to the police like after the incident took place i had reached out to a few cops from mumbai police saying whether they are investigating the matter and what they had told me is that till the time a complainant does not come forward to investigate their hands were tied they said they could not take the matter so moto which means investigating on their own and they were waiting for complaint so with mr vyas's complaint before the economic offences wing that set in motion the process of investigation now because he approached the economic offences wing uh, which is called eow in short form so eow usually does not directly register an fir they do a preliminary inquiry based on that if they find there is some fraud then they register an fir and eow usually investigates case which involve uh, amounts about 10 crores so the eow has registered a preliminary inquiry they have issued summons to the ceo of the holding company uh, of uh, the company that owns book my show and uh, second summons were issued after which the ceo did appear before them yesterday and they have questioned him the police however said that they were not quite satisfied with the details that he had given because some documents that they had asked for he did not get along so he has been summoned again and uh, they said that based on his statement based on technical analysis and other things it would take them a few days to decide whether there is some illegality that has happened or not so right now the matter is with the economic offences wing and in a week or two there should be some clarity on whether if they find that there is something illegal that has happened they may register convert that into an fir which means arrests could take place or if they don't find anything illegal then they may just close the inquiry but either case one is hoping that there will be some clarity to so many fans who kind of did not get the tickets as to what happened and whether it was purely the discrepancy between the demand and supply that led to the confusion or if there was something murky going on right and has book my show responded to these allegations and claims so soon after this incident took place book my show came out with a clarification firstly they said that that the secondary platform that was selling tickets they were not linked to it secondly scalping scalping which basically means that like a platform is selling tickets you buy tickets in bulk maybe even using bots to do that and then you resell it so they clarified that scalping is illegal in india so they said that they had no links whatsoever to the secondary market platforms that were selling it they said that they had taken all measures to ensure that nothing illegal happens and that 
there was a very high demand because of which the system crashed and they said that that's the reason the initial logout and things like that which happened was due to that and that they had taken measures to kind of rectify the situation they had added a show as well and for which you could book the tickets again at 2 o'clock so it was just a pure demand supply issue and it had nothing to do with platforms that were reselling it or anyone else who was kind of you know trying to take advantage of the skewed demand supply ratio right and what did amit vyas had to say regarding this and are there any rules or regulations in place as far as cases like these are concerned yeah so after the incident i spoke to mr vyas i also spoke to a few lawyers and cops to understand what does law have to say about this so see i mean uh, one of the lawyers i spoke to he gave a simple analogy he said back in the day when uh, you know you went to a movie theater and uh, there were touts who were selling tickets in black and the cops would come and they would you know take action against them so he said that if there is something illegal found it could be something on similar lines where the main window is shut down and after that there were these people who were kind of selling tickets illegally so who were selling tickets at high rates and you know so this lawyer i spoke to he said that you know there is a black marketing act under which usually i mean this act is used for food grains and things like that but the principle still applies because legally i mean the only way you can kind of get a pricing benefit is for example if you're a retailer and you brought ticket from a wholesaler but in this case it appears that advantage was taken about of the high demand supply ratio so they said that if the police does find such people they can take action against them under the black marketing act and even the mr vyas his primary thing is that such a situation has also taken place in the west where there was a show of taylor swift and a similar thing had happened and there the courts had intervened and you know there was action taken against the platform which had kind of sold these tickets so you know basically what he wants is first because till now there is no clarity about what happened so he is hoping that the police investigation will kind of shed some light and that book my show will share their digital footprint so that they get a clearer idea about what has happened and once that becomes clear then the law can kind of take its own course right so tell us how can the possible fraud be uncovered one of his main prayers was that the police or they be given access to the digital footprint of what happened between 12 to 1230 on september 22nd so they basically wanted to book my show to kind of give them access to the data that they had to find out whether there was any hacking to find out whether if from one particular account too many tickets were being booked so he said that because digital footprints cannot be deleted so easily that would make the matter really clear as to what had happened and whether there was something wrong going on and mohammed there is this concern and speculation that's been going around ever since this news came up that the coldplay concert might get cancelled because of this entire case so what do you think could that be a possibility i doubt that because see the tickets have been sold and this investigation i don't think will in any way impact the show at least as of now there are no indications of that and i really doubt whether the police investigation because this investigation will only look at what happened in the ticket sales but i doubt whether there will be anything so big that they would have to cancel the show so i really doubt that And in the end we talk about a helicopter crash. Yesterday morning three people were killed when the helicopter they were flying in crashed in the Bhavdhan area of Pune while it was on its way to Mumbai. Vinoy Kumar Chobe police commissioner of Pimpri Chinchwad confirmed the deaths saying that the chopper was flying to Juhu from the Oxford Golf Course Resort. According to the police the deceased have been identified as Girish Kumar Pillai, Pritam Chand Bhardwaj and Paramjeet. Senior Inspector Kanhaiya Thorat said court we have come to know that paramjeet singh and pillai were retired pilots from the indian air force bhardwaj was retired from the indian navy unquote according to a senior police official initial information from the local suggested that there was a mist when the chopper operated by a firm named heritage aviation took off maharashtra nationalist congress president sunil tatkare was supposed to fly in the chopper to his residence in sutarwadi raigarh he told the indian express court The chopper was slated to come to Mumbai and take me to my residence in Raigar district. Unquote. Tatkare had flown in the chopper to Bid on Tuesday where he attended the Jan Samman rally of Deputy Chief Minister Ajit Pawar. 
According to the Hinjwadi police, their teams, along with that of the fire brigade, responded to the reports of a helicopter crash in Bavadhan. As per reports, the crash might have happened before 7 a.m. Three fire tenders had been pressed into the service to control the fire. Vishal Gaikwar, Deputy Commissioner of Police, said that the police control room and the district disaster management control room had informed the authorities at the office of the Director General of Civil Aviation. DGCA will now launch a probe into the crash. You were listening to Three Things by the Indian Express. Today's show was edited and mixed by Suresh Pawar and produced by me, Niharika Nanda. If you like the show, then do subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also recommend the show to someone you think will like it. Share it with a friend or someone in your family. It's the best way for people to get to know about us. You can also tweet us at Express Audio and write to us at podcasts at IndianExpress.com. 